Hello friends, welcome to my channel, a channel for learning simple coding. If you find this video to be helpful, please like, share and subscribe my channel. In the last video, we have learned how to make a coding by using Next.js server action to make a sign up on Firebase. Now in this video, we are going to do the same, but here we are going to sign in. Means already which we have signed up, we are using those email and password. And we are going to sign in with application using Firebase Authentication and Next.js Server Action. So for that, once again, we have to make a coding. So I create one folder under Firebase DB that is called sign in, sign in, create the same. And under this, I create a page. I say page.js, remember that. So the coding of sign in and sign up is same. So I am just copying this sign up page. And same page I am copying here in sign in. Remember that I have explained each and everything in previous video. Here I am just explaining how to do copy paste. This server action also I have created in previous video. So I will make copy paste here also. But first of all I modify it. So uh, for that I need here uh, login. So in place of register I say login and here also I say login. Remember and here I will display information and go to uh, here after that I will move to welcome page. If somebody is login then go to welcome page. So here I create one more folder and I create welcome welcome page and here I say uh, page.js and here I say RAFCE and here I give welcome to so I say here h3 and I say welcome to next.js server action with Firebase. Save this. So this page I need. So here I need to change under the Firebase. I go to welcome. So the welcome page will open. Remember everything is done. Now under the sign in I need to create a sign in page and I need to create a Firebase server action for this also. So I say first of all Firebase sign in server action. Remember I am changing a name Firebase sign in server action. So again I just copy this server action of sign up and paste here because each and everything is same. Uh, we have to write a password and uh, if there is a success there sign in is there and uh, it will return success. It will so error password should be this and uh, here i say email or password should be correct okay email and password should be correct so i said message here because if you are writing some thing and in place of this i say sign in remember sign in sign in is not created i will create it here i need sign in remember like this same and we will do successfully sign in also and uh, the server page name is Firebase sign in server action Firebase sign in spelling mistake once again sign in like this here I say sign in and I change the name of this also rename and I say sign in okay so I did this now I need to create one more component that is called sign in so I say sign in dot js like sign up we have sign in and I open sign up here now and this sign up remember that we have sign up sign in so same I can copy I don't need to copy from here uh, same I just go to the tutorial here and same we have this sign in also so I copy this and I go there and I paste here and I change my configuration file here so I say fire base configuration file should be changed so I change my configuration file here and authentication is there sign in is there everything is okay and we have this sign in small one should be there and uh, we have this one okay no problem and we have result and error we are returning the same thing uh, sign in is done and welcome page is there server action is there and this page is also completed i think everything we have done now i go to page here here i need to open this page sign in page and then so in this sign in page what i do after displaying this message here i need again dev tag and here i say 
ahref and here i need to pass the link uh, that is firebase db slash and i say sign up i say sign up page and here i need to put sign up remember that i need to display sign up and that should be in a center of a screen i think and i need to change my navigation also so go there and in place of sign up i say sign in because first of all we need sign in page then we need sign up so i refresh i click here and it's saying cannot resolve uh, server action okay so that is server action uh, so i go to my sign in page and here i need firebase sign in server action remember firebase sign in server action and same i need to pass here firebase sign in server action i think done we have to change now it is done sign up is there if i click here so we go to sign up page otherwise if i click here i go to sign in page remember that sign up is ready we have done in last video and uh, now i need uh, this vip at the rate gmail.com so i use it here vip at the rate gmail.com and i say password one two three four five six seven eight i click login if everything is okay then it will goes to welcome page you see uh, no i don't want to save this so you see welcome to next year server action firebase means this is password is okay once again i click here abc at the rate gmail.com and i say same password one two three four five six seven eight and you will see that we click here and we go to this page so what is this that means this authentication is working our sign in process is working and only one problem is there whenever we sign in with using firebase then we should persist the connection means once we sign in in our website we should not log out without we are manually logging out remember that we should make a button here that to log out from the website otherwise if i click here it should not ask me I have each and every time for sign in because it's a tedious process so we will see this in next video also we will make a persistency means once we log in with email and password then this email and password will save in application and next time it would not ask email and password until i do not do log out if i do log out then it will ask again otherwise if i am not doing log out then means i am already log in so it would not ask me to do login each and every time because here whenever i click on firebase db it asking me to log in and each and every time it not feasible to make a login so in next video we will see how to persist this information and how we can remove this login each and every time it will ask login only when we will have log out okay so right now we, you have seen that how to make a a connection with the firebase using server action next js latest facility that have a capability to make a connection with database without using rest api so here we are not using any rest api we are directly making a connection with firebase so if you like it please do subscribe thank you for watching this video